Hi guys, welcome back to my video where we talk about Dr. Sebi, my fibroid experience, healthy meals, exercise, and my life. Today I'm going to do a book review. This book was inspired by Imani Johnson, a 35 year old who discovered she had cancer. And from there, she found out about Dr. Sebi. Who is Dr. Sebi? Well, his real name is Alfredo Bowman. He was born in Honduras and arrived here in the U.S. with um, health conditions like diabetes, obesity, and asthma. Dr. Sebi was inspired by a Mexican healer who helped him resolve all of his issues. He decided to put the knowledge he learned to become an excellent herbalist. He created his own diet and herbal compounds intended to reduce or get rid of some of the issues like heart disease, liver, kidney, lupus, cancer, infertility, endometriosis, and other female problems. Dr. Sebi's Beliefs He believed that the root of all problem in the body derives from mucus. He believed that the body can overcome issues if you eat right. His diet discourages the Western way of eating. Dr. Sebi created a diet that includes a detox and a maintenance diet. The detox, it is to get rid of waste from the body. And the purpose of the detox is to give your body a rest from digestion to concentrate fully on cleansing. Included in this diet, you have to drink at least one gallon of water per day. No salt, no grains, no oils are allowed during this detox period. The detox period has three levels. We have level three, level two, and level one. Level three being the most intense. Level three also has two subdivisions. And basically the detox, it's fruits and vegetables. It can, depends on the level, it can be all fruits, all vegetables, or a mixture. It's basically juicing. After the detox period, you can now move on to the Dr. Sebi's maintenance diet. This diet includes foods that are on Dr. Sebi's approved list. You can also have oils, grains, nuts, and seeds. There are no restrictions on the amount that you can have. Before we wrap it up, I'm going to give you my opinion about the book. Initially, when I read the book, I wasn't too impressed. I didn't find that I got enough information. So I read it over a second time and I was able to, to get more information from the readings. I was able to get a better breakdown of, of the diet, what it consists of, because at first I was confused. I'm like, okay, they're both fruits and vegetables. What's the difference? And um, then later I realized that the detox is basically liquid and then the other in solid form. So that was much clearer. I like that there was a breakdown of what each diet is consist of. I like that they have menus in the book. They also give you examples of different teas that you can have to help with any type of um, feminine problems, the list that I gave you previously. So I thought that was good. Um, I was expecting that the author elaborate more on her illness, how it helped her and how her struggle was, but there was nothing about, there was nothing listed there about how she did during the cancer, how it made her feel. She didn't focus on the cancer. She just focused basically on the diet, what it did, 
um, she explained each female problem. Would I recommend this book? Definitely. If you enjoyed this video and this video was informative for you, kindly like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you very much.